What's good everybody? It's PK Trainer Fatty with the final Master League video of season 7. This will be the final day where all three leagues will be open before we switch into the unranked Kanto Cup. And I thought I would play in the Master League just to showcase this 100 IV level 50 of Eltal one more time. And before we do get started, please remember to like, share and subscribe as it really helps out my channel. And without further ado, let's get right into the battles. So here we are going to be using a Metagross lead and we get a very unfortunate counter lead of a Giratina Origins. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly swap out into our Dialga safe swap. And my opponent is going to swap out as well into the Togekiss. So this isn't the worst lead possible because we can still threaten the Togekiss with these Iron Heads and make my opponent use up their shields. So we will be going for the, sh the first shield uh, here, hopefully. They do use up their first shield. And we want to try to build up to a second Iron Head and make them use their second shield or at least do a lot of damage to the Togekiss. But before we are able to get to it, the Togekiss is going to be able to farm us all the way down. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the Metagross here and we're going to start building up energy. That's right. But before that, we are going to shield up this potential Flamethrower. It was not a Flamethrower. It was an Ancient Power. But it's better to be safe than sorry. So what we're going to do here is we are going to start farming down the rest of this Togekiss's HP and build up to two Meteor Mashes. Because I know my opponent is going to bring back in their Giratina Origins and we want to have two in a row to use up one of their shields and do a lot of damage to the Giratina Origins as well. So we will be going for the first Meteor Mash. And let's see what my opponent decides to do. They decide to let it go through, but what are they going to do on the second Meteor Mash? Their Giratina cannot survive another one. They are going to either have to use a shield now or let their Giratina Origins go down. They decide to use up their final shield and now this is where we're going to swap out into the Beast himself, into Yveltal. But my opponent is going to swap out as well into their Garchomp. So what we want to do here is we're going to try to build up to two Dark Pulses. First one goes through. And with a bit more uh, with a bit more farming down and one more Dark Pulse, it should be enough to take out the Garchomp completely. Here it is going to go for an Outrage. We are going to have to shield that up. And now the second Dark Pulse is going to go through. Will it be enough to take out the Garchomp from this range? Let's see. But if it is, then we've pretty much won the game because their Giratina cannot do anything to us. Not quite enough to take out their Garchomp, but we are going to be able to farm down the rest of its HP. And now it's just the Giratina versus Yveltal battle. Really nothing much it can do to us. Uh, this is a Dark uh, Shadow Ball Ominous Wind variant, so it doesn't have access to the dra uh, Dragon Pulse. Shadow Ball isn't going to be able to do much to us. And one more Dark Pulse should be enough to win, but my opponent decides to surrender right there. Very good game to my opponent though, and here for the second match, we are going to get a Mewtwo lead. So I'm pretty happy I did decide to go for the Metagross lead for this set because Metagross has have an overwhelming advantage over a lot of these Pokemon. We're going to try to go for the Meteor Mash and here I shield up expecting a potential Shadow Ball, but let's see what it decides to do. Yep, it was a Shadow Ball. And we're going to go for the Meteor Mash. Now Mewtwo is a very frail Pokemon. It is very powerful, but it is also very frail. And it's not going to want to get hit with this Meteor Mash. Let's see what my opponent decides to do. They, of course, will be shielding it up. And now we're going to count down and see what move set my opponent is going to use. So with a, as much uh, fast move damage that they've done, they're either going to go for a Side Strike Bait or a Shadow Ball. They go for another Shadow Ball, not trying to bait. They're just going straight DPS. So we're going to be going for another Meteor Mash right here. And I am expecting my opponent to either shield up one more time, which they do. And what we want to do here is we're just going to keep farming down the rest of this Mewtwo's HP and then quickly swap out into the Yveltal. Now they have a Dialga. Now this is why I prefer running Focus Blast over Hurricane. I've had a lot of people telling me to use Hurricane, but this is why I run Focus Blast. Focus Blast from this range can KO a Pokemon like Dialga or a Melmetal. And of course they have their final Pokemon is gonna be a Kyogre. We want to do as much damage as possible with these Dark Pulses and take out the Kyogre. But I'm pretty sure the Kyogre will be able to take us out first, but we can do a lot of damage before we do go down. 
So we're just going to keep Dark Pulsing down until they use a potential Surf. Alright, so this is why I love Yveltal. It is such a beast. It can get to those Dark Pulses very quickly. It has such a good moveset. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring back our Metagross and go for a Meteor Mash here. Wonder if this is enough to take out the Kyogre from this range. It probably is. And all we'll have to do is deal with their Mewtwo, which they're going to quickly swap out into. So that it wasn't enough to take out the Kyogre. And they were going to able to be swapping out into their own Mewtwo here. Shadow Ball down our Metagross. But it's fine because we have a Dialga with full HP left in the back. And my opponent is going to be taken out with a few Dragon Breaths, winning us the second game of the set. Very good game to my opponent once again. Here for the next battle though, my opponent is going to be using a Dragonite lead. So another good lead for us because Dragonite can't really handle Metagross. And by the way, this isn't even a level 50 Metagross yet. I still have not got the XL candies for it, but it is definitely a Pokemon I am prioritizing. So we're going to be going for a Meteor Mash here. Wonder if my opponent is going to shield this up. They do. And then they're going to quickly swap out into an Excadrill. So Excadrill is one of those Pokemon that gives this team a lot of trouble. It can win most CMP ties. And it's Rock Slides and Earth Power and sorry and Drill Runs do a lot of damage to our team. However, Yveltal is going to be able to go for a Dark Pulse here. We still have two shields remaining. So I'm not too worried. Uh, Excadrill is a very frail Pokemon, so they're going to definitely want to shield this. They do not for some reason, and um, I'm not sure why, because now their Excadrill is probably going to hit us with a Rock Slide. It's not going to be quite enough to take us out. It's going to do a significant damage, but not quite enough to take us out. And what we want to do here is we want to uh, snarl down the rest of this uh, Excadrill's HP. And now I'm guessing my opponent is going to bring in a Togekiss. Okay. Uh, we'll just go for one Dark Pulse. And just to do as much damage as possible to the Togekiss. Togekiss hits and now it's just going to be able to charm down the rest of Arya Veltal's HP. Now we can bring in the Metagross. And go for a Meteor Mash. Will they shield this up or will they let it go through? They still have a Dragonite in the back with loaded energy. So we do have to be careful. But uh, I believe at this point the game is pretty much over. We're going to be able to just uh, me uh, bullet punch down the rest of this uh, Togekiss's HP after we shield up this Ancient Power. Was expecting a Flamethrower there. And now the Dragonite comes back in. And it's probably going to hit us with a, either it's going to be a Dragon Claw or an Outrage. No, it is a Dragon Claw. So we're, we're going to be able to just barely survive that. Go for the Meteor Mash. And then what we want to do is we want to quickly swap out into our Dialga and farm down the rest of this Dragonite's HP with our Dragon Breath. We're able to take down the Dragonite. And my opponent's going to bring back in their Togekiss. No issue because we're just going to be able to farm down the rest of this Togekiss's HP. Winning us the third game of the set. Here for the fourth game though. My opponent is going to be leading with a Togekiss. So we get a very advantageous lead here. Pretty happy using Metagross for uh, these leads in this set. And my opponent is going to swap out into a Machamp. So uh, besides uh, Excadrill, Machamp also gives our team a bit of trouble. Especially uh, if Metagross does go down. So instead of swapping out here, we're just going to go for one Meteor Mash. And since Togekiss does threaten our team quite a bit, we want to make sure this Metagross survives. I'm going to go for one Meteor Mash here. And then quickly swap out into our Yveltal. Um, so I'm just going to go for a Dark Pulse here. My opponent is probably going to go for either a Cross Chop or a Rock Slide. Uh... Yeah, they go for the cross chop. It doesn't do as much damage as I thought it would. So we'll just go for the Dark Pulse here. See what happens. My opponent is going to let the Dark Pulse go through. And what we want to do here is we want to be careful and watch out for any potential Rock Slides. We are going to shield up here just in case. It was a cross chop, so 
Uh, probably shouldn't have shielded that, but it's like I said, it's better just to be safe than sorry. We're going to go for a Dark Pulse once again. And now if my opponent wants their, Ma their Machamp to survive, they are going to have to shield this. They decide to shield it. We used up both their shields. And now we just want to do as much damage as possible with our Yveltal. And uh, I'm not going to be shielding this attack. We're just going to let it go through. The Yveltal goes down. Now we're going to bring in our Dialga and start Dragon Breathing down the rest of the Machamp's HP. So my opponent is going to bring back in their Togekiss. We want to go for a direct Iron Head here. Not trying to play around. And... Um, it's not going to be quite enough to take out their Togekiss from this range. But we want to quickly swap out into our Metagross and build up some energy. Their final Pokemon is going to be a Gyarados though. Not looking good for us. Gyarados uh, does do a lot of damage to our team as well. Uh, or at least it doesn't do a lot of damage. But there is not much our team can really do to threaten a Gyarados. And that's the one advantage of having a Melmetal over the Metagross here. So they are going to be able to take out our Metagross and uh, we're going to probably be hit with a Crunch or an Aqua Tail. It was an Aqua Tail. So what I'm really trying to do here is I'm trying to just farm down the rest of this Gyarados' HP and build up to an Iron Head to take out the Togekiss if we can. Not looking very good for us though. Uh, we do shield the Aqua Tail. And I don't know if we will be able to just Dragon Breath down all the way. We are. And we'll go for the Iron Head here. And this should be enough to just barely win us the game. Very close match right here. Very, very intense match. And uh, we take out the Togekiss winning us the game. So this was a very close match. Very, it just came down to the wire there. Very good game to my opponent though. Here for the final match of the set we are going to have a togekiss lead once again so we do get the lead advantage and my opponent is going to swap out into a landorus therian so landorus therian is one of those pokemon that i really want to get 100 iv of i did over 600 raids could not get the hundo very disappointed uh if i did i would have definitely used it a lot more this season i do have a 98 percent but i do not want to invest in anything less than 100 percent personally uh, so here we're just going to go for a Dark Pulse. Uh, we have to play this game very carefully. The Landorus does have access to Stone Edge and our Yveltal does not appreciate that. We're going to go for a second Dark Pulse here. And let's see if my opponent decides to shield this or let it go through. They decide to shield using up their final shield. And I guess they're just banking it all on this Landorus. So here... My opponent is going to probably be going for a superpower. Yep, superpower bait their attack and defense does drop. So now I feel a lot more comfortable with uh, letting the Stone Edge hit me. It's not going to be doing as much damage as before. Stone Edge goes through and we're going to be able to just barely build up to a Dark Pulse. We're going to quickly have to swap out into our Metagross, go for the Meteor Mash. And our Yveltal does have a fully loaded Dark Pulse still ready. One thing I really don't like though about uh, Go Battle League at the moment is there's a big lag time between swaps. So here my, my opponent's last Pokemon is going to be their Giratina. We're going to be able to get to this Meteor Mash and hopefully do a lot of damage. So Meteor Mash goes through and my opponent is just building up energy at this point. They are going to probably hit us with an Ominous Wind right here. Ominous Wind goes through, takes out our Metagross. We're going to bring in our Dialga and start farming down the rest of this uh, Giratina's HP. And here we are going to be hit with a Shadow Ball. So they are going to quickly swap out into their um, Landorus. I probably should have swapped out as well into my Yveltal here but I just uh, messed up so I pretty much threw right here uh, now we bring in the Yveltal and go for the Dark Pulse but yeah in hindsight I probably should have swapped out a lot sooner and took out the Landorus but what can you do 
here they are going to be able to farm us down with their shadow claws and we lose the first game of the set so not quite a five out of five but we are going to be able to collect our uh rewards we get the scrap the scraggy definitely want to want uh, definitely want more excel candies of those it is amazing in the premier ultra league and uh just being a bit annoying to catch here but overall uh this is like i mentioned going to be the last master league video of season seven if you enjoyed this video please let me know uh can't wait for master league to be released again it is my favorite league i'm not i don't really enjoy the lower ranking cups as much but i'll play them i'll see what i can do we're going to quickly collect our rank rewards we are getting up there not quite enough to get to expert this season hopefully next season we are going to be able to but if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again next time.